Professor Diaz here, and in this video I'm going to talk about income as a determinant of demand. If you're just picking up on this video and you're not sure about determinants of demand, make sure you go watch the introduction and tastes and preferences to get an overlay of determinants of demand. Regarding income, income is the next big determinant of demand. The income is the next thing that will actually shift the entire curve out, which is an increase, or in which is a decrease in demand, okay? So income works this way. The more money you have, the more stuff you buy, right? So if the income of a population, say a city, increases, they're gonna buy more stuff, right? As you have more money, you buy more things. Um, you buy more clothes. If you have more money, you take more trips. If you have more money, you buy more food. If you have more money, um, most goods and services, as you, as you get more money, as your income goes up, this whole curve shifts out. And conversely, as your income goes down, your your demand for various goods and services goes down, okay? There's an exception to this though, right? Um, some things, this is normally how it works. We call this normal goods or normal goods and services. When income goes up and we buy more, that's a normal good or service. But there are goods and services where as you buy more, you or I'm sorry, as your income increases, you buy less, right? The classic example for this is a cup of noodles, right? Or ramen noodles. The more uh, money you have, typically the less ramen noodles you buy. So ramen noodles are considered an inferior good, okay? So there's, there's really two subcategories here. Let me go ahead and jot them down. Um, there's what's called normal goods. And again, this, these are goods that you would act normally. Like the more money you have, the more income you have, the more you buy this good. The other type of good is an inferior good. And this is a good that the more income you have, the less of it you buy, right? So normal goods act the way you'd expect. The more money, the more income, the more you buy. So it would shift the line out as you have increased income. Inferior good, the more money income you have, it shifts the curve, the demand in, right? Another example of an inferior good might be bus passes, right? As people get more and more income, they ride the bus less and less as they purchase their own car, right? Um, so these are two ways that income can affect, deter that can determine demand, can shift the demand curve. And um, they're both falling under the category of income. Income is a determinant of demand, but depending on whether it's a normal good or an inferior good, depends on whether it'll shift the curve out or shift the curve in. In the next video, we'll talk about prices of related goods.